Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So let's talk more about the Gunslinger. There are still a lot of things that players want to know about the Gunslinger, but we have little information about it, or rather players are still testing things out. What works and what isn't for the Gunslinger, me included. After the recent video, there are quite a number of players reaching out and asked me in the game and on Discord about my Gunslinger, particularly on the damage on how it deal higher damage than the gunslinger character well my build is still ongoing although i do not consider my damage is that crazy high as i did not actively compare my damage with others but after receiving your messages so i think maybe there are some elements that i did right that maybe you didn't do or are not aware of so in this video i am going to share five elements for gunslinger that i do to increase the damage in the early game all right the first one i had talked about this in the previous video but i think this is the number one thing in the list that is very easy to do that can instantly boost your damage that is using the magical bullet and the banishing buster skill the magical bullet skill convert your weapon attribute to ghost element and at the same time increase the ghost damage by 50 percent last for 300 seconds or five minutes banishing buster skill increase the ghost attribute damage further 20% to a total of 35% ghost attribute damage. That is an instant increase of 35% damage. It's huge. At the same time, it also increases your physical attack by 4 times of the luck stat. So in total, your damage is not just increased by 35%. You will have a damage increase more than that. Now, there are a lot of discussion on should you go for luck or should you go for dex topic going on in the gunslinger community but for me with the 35 percent ghost element damage from the magical bullet and banishing skill it gives a quick instant tremendous amount of damage that is just cannot be overlooked at lower level and because of that you might as well utilize the luck stat physical attack increase from the banishing buster skill and that leads to the second element the stat attribute point allocation now this is my stat points distribution because of the banishing Buster skill effect, you want to get as much luck as possible to get as high physical attack as you can. But do you see anything odd about my start allocation? I didn't put all of my start points to luck. I put some on the dex as well. Now, am I just randomly adding the start points to the luck and dex start? No, I have a systematic calculated approach for the start allocation, all right? From the dex or luck video that I made previously, if you had watched it, you probably already know that the luck start will give you more physical attack than the dex up to 2000 start points. If you don't know what I'm saying, I recommend you to watch that video the link is at the video description so below 1000 start points one point of dex will give you six points of physical attack and one point of luck will give you 8.75 points of physical attack now adding the start points need different amount of attribute points you need more and more attribute points as you have more start points at my current level one point of dex need five attribute points one point of luck need nine Usually, I will add points to the luck start first until the attribute points required are double of the dex start. Then I will increase the dex. For example, I will increase the luck start, and up to a point, it will require 10 attribute points for one luck. At this point, 10 points for one luck give 8.75 physical attack, but that 10 points can increase two dex, which then will give 12 physical attack. So it gives more physical attack then adding it to the luck you see what i mean the third one is the shadow equipment i am using the sniper rifle and shotgun build gunslinger so i'll explain it using this shadow equipment although at lower level you will not be using any skill because it will deal lower damage than just using normal attack but the shadow equipment skill can increase your stat for example the tracking skill will increase your physical attack by nine percent for six seconds so to get this physical attack bar 
off, adjust the tracking skill to lower than 6 seconds, so you will get 9% physical attack increase at all time. You can also use the dust skill to get 9% final physical damage increase, but this skill has a short range. Most of the time, I use this on small size monster, which I can pair it with using the shotgun for auto attack. Sometimes I use this on large size monster too. Next, the pad. Now I want to make a whole dedicated video for the pad on what pad you should get for gunslinger. So I will go just briefly in this video. For pad, I use the anaconda pad. I know most gunslinger will go for the yo-yo pad, but I am more interested in getting the crit stat from the anaconda than the crit damage from the yo-yo. Crit damage deal twice the normal damage. So dealing crit attack I think is the next priority in the list to deal high damage on lower level. That's the only difference for these two paths. Aptitude wise, at lower level I have low crit rate. So there's no point on getting the crit damage if I can't deal crit attack, right? So that is the reason for the anaconda. Since on higher level, for level 110 and more, you will need even more crit rate as the monster will have higher anti-crit stat. If you decide to use the anaconda and evolve it to the snake, it will give crit rate which will be helpful on higher level. And the last one, invest in gold weapon. Alright, I know what you are thinking, but hear me out. Have you checked the gold weapon, especially the guns, at the exchange center? So if the short bow build is the last popular build for ranger class, the shotgun build is the last popular build for the gunslinger class. That being said, the price for the gold shotgun weapon is much lower than the revolver build weapon, just like the shot bow. Now I said this before in the discord and to those who DM me, although at the game current version it is very hard to get crystals because the price for everything is so low. At the same time, everything selling in the exchange market, the price is low too. So take that into advantage, you can get the gold weapon at a quite low price. For context, the shotgun is selling at 30k diamonds. It can go as low as 20k if you constantly check on the price. And the shatter is 33k diamonds. This is already at a low price. Usually it is selling at 40k, 50k diamonds. Monthly diamond quota is 30k for non-VIP card user. So you can easily get this weapon in 2 or 3 months. Now I'm not saying that you should get the gold weapon with the best weapon effect. A gold weapon with good effect will cost a lot more. Instead, buy a low tier gold weapon and buy it just for the refined stat boost. Gold weapon will have higher refined stat compared to the blue and white weapon. For comparison, gold weapon with plus 4 refined level have the same stat as to the plus 6 refined level blue weapon and about equivalent to plus 8 refined level white weapon. So you can actually just stay on refined level plus 4 for the gold weapon up to very high level. You know how difficult refine can be in ROX, right? So staying at refine level plus 4 for the gold weapon is also an option. So that are the 5 elements that you can do to increase the gunslinger damage that I personally doing for my gunslinger at the moment. Do you have your own tips on how to increase your damage? Please let me know at the comment below. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shoutout goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.